Jones, Northern France. Austria is doing okay. Papacy is a good chunk of Italy. Hungary is oh, wow. got its stuff. Oh, <laughs> that line of Siberian provinces is so ugly. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? <laughs> oh my god! Uh, please tell me you're gonna flesh that out, though. That is In like time. brutal. In time. By the like, end of the game. Little. By the you end of the I mean? game. Like, if you can connect, hold on, just bear with me. If you can connect your province of Lake Baikal to your most northernmost province, right, like that, and then fill that in underneath, that'll also already look a lot better. <laughs> I hate to break this to you, but I've already given up exploration ideas, so no colonists now. Oh, so it Lord. will remain a horror to the eyes <laughs> for the preceding <laughs> I'm years. Surprised. You of all people are comfortable with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I have, to. I have too. to. There's no way I can let Russia colonize all that and then just attack me. Uh, that would be a terrible idea. Look at Morocco, too. Yeah, pretty big. They're doing good. Well. Tabaristan, that's pretty good. Can be uh, attacked by the, the Aussies, though. Huh? Why do I have an event here called the Fall of Kyoto? Weird. I mean, it was a bug. What did it do? Just gave me a bunch of, like, points for free, which was cool, but it didn't really make narrative sense. I was like, oh, we've lost control. The Ashikaga have lost control of Kyoto and the Shogunate. It's like, oh, but. Okay. Oh, this is. That's what this funky island is called, the Sulawesi. Okay. Today I learned. Yeah, that's what I asked. was asking. Is that the one Yeah, I thought asking, it wasn't or? called that, though. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Corruption is getting really, really expensive. I really need to get the next admin tech, like, as soon as humanly possible. All right, I guess I can. Hmm. All right, Pisa's gonna have to wait a little longer, I guess. That's too bad. I need more um, admin points for. Oh, I have a free colonist. Lovely. I still. I wonder where my where my money's gone. I still feel like I'm paying way more than I used to, or earning way less, or something. Maybe it's the overextension. No, oh, that's done now.
Yeah. I really hope this king doesn't die anytime oh. soon. Got a uh, Mauritian infantry. Named after the great father of your country. Yes. Next grab will be Bali, I think, or Lombok. So if I synthesize with Confucius, I get 10% off admin, which I actually quite like. I guess the next best to synthesize with is actually your religion, because it gives me 5 discipline and minus 1 unrest globally. That's quite good, actually. Yeah. Yeah. Manchu Shintoism. Just Manchu Shinto is just like, imagine those guys with the fucking, like, Fu Manchu just sitting Zazen style. Just on their horses, just funny to me. <laughs> Let's see, the merchants want troll of Musashi. I mean, I guess it is a cot, so why not? It's Tokyo, but... Well, we can give it to them and take it back. Actually, well, what's your trade power in that node? Yeah, I'd give it yeah. to them. I'd give them yeah, the Yeah, there's also a, a, bonus, a bonus for it, because I gained two free development out of it, and they give in no, loyalty, give so... Them, you should give them your other cot as well. My other cut? Oh, um, yeah. that. And that, because Korea's got majority market share in that node. And then, so, the merch thing with merchants is they penalize your tax, but they increase your trade power and that your production is the same. Right. So, you want it, like, for Ch Chikuzen. I don't know what the real name of that city would be. But, um. No, oh, it's also because I'm not embargoing Korea. That's so, for, like, Chikuzen, wrong. you want to. Beef that up, like the production good, because that's China ware, and then you get all the gain of that. Also, your awesome. your development cost is really fucking cheap. Holy shit! So if you click on Chikuzen, it's twenty six for you to develop. That's amazing. So you should do that. Thirty four for me. What should I develop? Just develop uh, Diplo, basically. Chikuzen, you should develop the Chinaware there. So the, that's the Diplo points, yeah. Alright, I'll develop that a bit. There we go. Oh, thank God. My financial situation just re improved dramatically, which is nice. Alright, so now it's just a game of waiting for admin points. I should also probably upgrade my gold provinces a little further out. Um, up to 10, right? And then stop yeah. at 10.
I actually probably don't need to rush and brace this one. Which is cool. Shimonotsuke, where is Shimonotsuke? I retook control of the Nippon trade node too, which is good. Get away with having like a minuscule army for so long because I've been a protectorate of Ming. It's <laughs> given me a lot of cash to just cash. hang on to. That's nice. Oh, Killa. Oh no, that's in Africa. I was gonna say that could be a nice little target for you. They've got 7,000 golds just in there. Oh, where are they in Africa? It's in Africa somewhere. But are they on the coast? They are, yeah. Oh, it's a big one, though. Yeah. Oh, it's the gold boys. It's the gold one, yeah. I mean, if I... It's the gold diggers. I say she a gold digger. Now they're 13 land tech, too. I mean, I could do it, but... Just occupy some shit and take all their stuff. It's a little bit of a commitment, though. I mean, with the whole sailing of the ships and the... Hutzing and the futzing. Oh shit, we actually need to declare war on Korea soon. How are you doing? 15 land tech? Cool. But they, uh, they don't have opium in this, do they? I don't know, I don't think so though. That's more of a what's it called thing anyway. Mm -hmm. Later period. Alright, all right, so in the next four years, I have to declare war on Korea. Why is your free claims running out? expiring. Yeah, exactly. All four he's of them. Got, he's got like 40k, it's pretty big. I mean, I've got 56. So 54k. So that I can. But that side of it, I'm not too stressed about. It's the admin points I'm worried about. He's also land tech 16 and we're both 15. Um, 
Um, he does have full offensive ideas. I Sixteen is just the artillery one. Like, I mean, if you throw a couple troops in with mine, we should be good to go. I can finally see your fucking <laughs> ridiculous uh, little tail. Oh, where? Uh, the west in the one? west. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's, not, it's not a tail. It's like um, it's like I don't know what funny analogy I can come up with. It's like I'm wrapping my arms around all of Siberia. <laughs> as if, like a child, as if to say, all of this is mine. You may not go in here. Looks like the colonization region is slowed down now. I think it helped that I grabbed, like, most of the ones they really like to take, because... And Egypt grabbed, um, grabbed uh, Diego Garcia because I think it makes it hard for them to get over here. good terrain tiles to develop. <laughs> I literally have like three. Step I've culture not. converted one of them to Manchu. Oh, here you go. Chengde. Chengde. I know. That's what I'm developing now. It's my last one I can develop. Uh... <laughs> I've made the Manchu as well to make it super efficient. That used to be a Buddhist province. <laughs> Music's, I used to disable the music, now I try to play it, but it's really fiddly. And it says it can, you can put the music down low, but you can't. So it's always like louder than <laughs> people who are trying to speak, so I'm constantly just fidgeting with it, and it bothers me a lot. <laughs> This is time to start moving my <coughs> armies up to Korea. So where is Korea on this? Is it in the war? No, they're not. 38k over the cap of 43. That's not too bad. Half my manpower and then maybe...
Immunity is dwarfed by mine. My 17 heavy ships. So, Korea. I guess let's do it. I'll move my armies north. Get a little war started. Now my air sucks ass again. Oops. Oh, they want money now. I'm taking 15% out of Beijing. And it's really nice. Doesn't sound too bad, friend. I'm making more out of Beijing than out of the Manchuria node. See, I'm kind of tempted, hmm, if I just put all my power into Beijing. I wonder. Like, made that my home node now. And just try to get the transfer bonus. Be interesting. So I can transfer, so I can get 10% from Girin, 10% from Hangzhou. I get 10% off of Nippon or Canton. So that'd be plus 30. I don't know if it'd be more than just collecting in the ones I'm doing right now, separate though. Bushi are pissy with me. Bushido. The Bushi. The Bougie. Trying to see if I can get them back in their good graces.
Let's get in a couple of provinces and get them back on the Omega Graces. There we go. Now they won't bother me to land for a long time either. Armies. Let's get them up here. Navy, let's team off ball. When do I have till to declare this war? First of November, sixteen eleven. Cool. All right, so let's get all of our maintenances up. You ready for this shit, homeboy? Homeboy? Uh, yeah, you're gonna have to carry the war, so I don't really have a standing army. That's so. fine. I mean, if you can use your twenty one k, that'll be more than enough. I'm gonna. Uh, let me get military access from you. So what I'm gonna do is I'll declare. I won't do call I, you in yet. Why don't you attack him first and then call me yes. in after his army is down there? there yes, exactly. So I'm, well, I'm gonna attack him from your border though, because it's just way handier than trying to land <laughs> um, three stacks okay, of 18k. Let's put you in exile, but sure. Well, no. So I declare the war, right? Position my navy to block his navy. Okay. Yeah. And then yeah, move the troops over. Yeah. Move my troops into your territory, then call you in, and then we'll launch the attack. I mean, like, it's fine. I've got 70,000 manpower and, you know, 54,000 soldiers. It's just because he's got hired tech and full offensive that it'd probably be handy to have, like, a little extra to get me over the top. You know what I mean? Yep. Alright. Finished. Replenishing? We'll go. I guess I'll position it first, too. Gonna start with the you gave me military access, right? Yeah. So I get more force summit from. Let's see, from expansion. expansion. From economic. What is good? I have that one. Where is his army marching to? I can get more force summit from Diplo. I'm not getting Diplo ideas. <laughs> yeah, do you see the Korean army? It's walking through China for some reason. I think to maybe go to Banka, which is an island I own. It's the only place he can reach. So this is cool. I guess what I'll do is I'll just let this happen. <laughs> then I'll land all my soldiers in Korea. This seems reasonable, right? Yeah, the AI never ceases to impress me with its priorities. So it's like, rationale is I'm gonna leave my entire country exposed to invasion, <laughs> but I'm gonna take your little island in Southeast Asia. <laughs> That's but pretty much what this looks like. I, I know that it's absurd, but it's it's just really, really annoying though. Like, Yeah, when it's happening, when, when it actually impacts you. Oh no, look, he just he stopped in Yangsu. He did, yeah. He's, he's indecisive now. He's, uncer he's uncertain. He's re he's reevaluating his priorities at the current moment. 
Well, I'm about to land soldiers in Korea, which I imagine will re, -re make oh, him. Yeah, oh, there we go. He's regained interest now. <laughs> If I can take this fort down here in the southeast, I'm in good shape. No, he's going back up. No, I need to see if these soldiers can connect to each other, though. If they can't, then it's a problem. Like, if you can't freely walk over. Mongolia has become the seat of the largest textile industry in the world. <laughs> Three centuries early, earlier than actually occurred. I love that. It's beautiful. They just built like 40 textile factories there. Okay, he's not just stopped in Pyongyang. He's like, I thought about it. And I'm good. Oh, yeah. Oh so, God, so I get Manchu banners. Okay. That's like my unique thing for this era. I have a land force of 200. Okay, I don't have that one. Five universities. Okay, I can build another university. Be the Emperor of China. <laughs> nope, not yet. You will eventually, maybe even in this year. This era. Sorry, that's, yes, this era. That's optimistic. <laughs> this year is a bit much. Alright, I'm picking up pieces of Korea now. So I could build a new university, but I don't know. It's no good place for this building, though. <laughs> Only had another, like, plains. God forbid I had, like, a farmland. That would be, like, like, oh, I need I'd, to build like, some universities orgasm. as well. I need to build some universities as well. Oh, the best part is I'm taking uh, Korea's cot from Nippon in this war. Mm. Can only get so turned on. Cool. That looks like a pretty good piece. Alright, is he moving to defend now? In the weirdest way possible, I guess. It's attacking you in the mountains. Yeah, he, he chose the province that had the most soldiers. Yeah. Uh, Got attacked in the plains province. I don't know why he chose that one. I'm glad the AI isn't infallible, though, like in that way. Because they could yeah. easily code it to say, never attack mountains. Um, You'd never be able to beat them. I mean, I don't know. Because being Christian as Japan would bring a lot of benefits. Um, Shinto's 10% morale is very good, though, for a religion bonus. If you go, is. Do you have a, any unique stuff as Shinto, or is that it? Like, do um, have, like, you get... some weird, un unique mechanic? You have this, uh, incidence mechanic, and isolation is a mechanic, and it gives me bonuses, so I'm adaptive, so I have, uh, uh, minus 10% development costs and plus 10% institution spread. 
which is pretty cool too. Right. And you get these possible incidents, like these specific incidents, which give you bonuses. And like different things. I don't know, I think it's pretty cool to be Shinto. I think I'm gonna stick with it. These are hills and these are mountains. Oh, sweet. Okay. So once this falls, I'll move up and to the hills and mountains and they'll attack me again and I can fuck them up again. And then do it. Alright, I figured out what my piece is gonna be, so that's nice. Once I take the capital, you should accept it. I'm gonna take four provinces off him, plus take a bunch of money, plus war reparations. That sounds pretty good, right? Yeah. Bringing my unbalanced research back under control, too. Things are looking good. No longer have to constantly pay to root out corruption. So no my force take limit it. is 90. Oh wait, I just realized something. How are we gonna blockade China and do all that shit if you own Korea? Um, I think we have to just fight him. So I've got 90 force limit. Um, what's yours? 60? More. So his is 200, so if, you're, if that is yours. We're getting pretty close then, combined. Like, we yeah. should probably beat him. Um, we need better tech, but besides that. I actually kind of like the look of this like little Japanese Korea thing. So what contributes to trade power? Is it only your production, or does tax base improve it as well? Um... Alright, let me Google it. I don't know. I don't know.
this it just says all the modifiers it doesn't say where the base trade power comes from hmm. uh, It's like this giant fucking article and it doesn't say <laughs> like the most basic information <laughs> is what I want to know. Amazing. That'd be too easy, come on. Am I not in any rush to embrace global trade? I feel like it's spreading pretty quickly through Japan, so it's like, meh, whatever. Let's not burn our money on it. Low multiplier, too. I also don't know why I said multiplier in such a weird way there. As I vassalize Tamerlane. <laughs> oh, it's, it's the mighty funny. really have fallen. Really have fallen. That's not a small fall, that is a grand fall from Grace. And why is my corruption growing? Overextension? Yeah, okay. So then once those finish, we'll be alright. And then I can make them all good, um, <laughs> good Shinto. And then maybe even culture convert them. Whoa. She's probably better just to make Korean an accepted culture in my country. Yeah, there's too many Koreans for you to yeah. assimilate them. Actually, in Korea, it's nice and homogenous, so just accept Korean and you're, you're good. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yarkon, but then I have to fight Delhi and Bengal, and then the fighting on that part of the world is a huge pain in the ass, so I'm like, eh. Ooh, no, uh, uh. The Ottomans have just, um, are starting a colony in the Spice Islands, which I'm not having any of that shit. They're doing, yeah. I should probably kill these guys and take the islands before uh, before the Ottomans get to. Yes, yeah, Russia's not attacking me because um, I'm protected by China, so they can't even attack my vassal. So we call them the Ming. So what, what I'll do, when we do fight Ming and Russia attacks from the other side, I'm just going to give them all the western shit and just immediately peace out mm -hmm. with this. Because all this land over here is trash anyway, I don't fucking care for it, so... Yeah, just that's fair. Pass it to him. By the way, quick question. Um, yeah. What, when, with the Tamurids, did you get a, for the offer of vassalization, yes or no, did your, like, relationship with them change? The the like balancing. I'm trying to remember because I'm looking at one guy who's like f plus 40, minus 43, and I'm trying to remember like if I get a royal marriage and stuff, if that uh that'll bring him into the fold. I think it does, right? So the little check mark is its own thing, and that's based on your diplomatic like um, 
Yeah, no, reputation. but go over to the check mark with uh, Tamerlan if you haven't vassalized no. him yet. Yeah. yeah. What are the, what are the positives? Uh, there? I oh, think we royal, have marriage, royal is marriage plus ten. Yep. Ally okay, plus perfect. 10. Yep. All right, cool. That's what I was checking. If allied and royal marriage changed it, I thought it did, but I was not sure. Cool. And now I can make them my vassal. That's fun. So I'm just gonna vassal vassalize one of these islands, save myself the heartache. Now oh, this is very annoying. I'm gonna get Korean separatists, but it's like you know 33k, which means I need to move one of my stacks back up to Korea. It's like, oh man, I have to do stuff. Not exactly. Oh, well, it's mostly dang. when you're after ship. You no, know. I agree. It's super tedious. <laughs> Massive amounts of people up and down the world. Christianity defeated. Oh, baby. Fuck, wow, they rose up really, really quick. Okay. At least they rose up on, um... You're usually like, oh, it's 90%, rise up, motherfucker. Yeah, and now it's like, uh, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and do this in about three days. I hope that's chill. All right, the good news is they're on a fort, so I can just kind of get my armies over while they siege the fort and take it then. I Probably I'm gonna want to expand my army by another 18k at some point soon. I can't afford it. I don't have the force on this fort yet, but soon. And I have one fort in, like, Kyrgyzstan. Which is like guarding all of Western fucking fucking Manchu. <laughs> that is the uh, the Great Barrier. It's in the fucking hills over there. It's like the uh, these Manchu soldiers there who have this great honor of knowing they are the Bastion. <laughs> I could rebuild it, and there's a mountain tile next to it. I could rebuild the fort there, but eh, eh. Cost money would give me an extra one on the defensive roll if I ever had to relieve that said four. One of my troubles here is like my provinces are so bad and I can't, they have to be like a base level of decent to give to the merchants. So none of the tiles that I want to own directly I can give to the merchants. Mm. Um, but I, I want the merchants to be happy so I can improve shit <laughs> more cheaply. So it's, it's very, it's very challenging. It's problematic. I'm really not appreciative of this little 
foray of the Ottomans into the Spice Islands. I wonder if we can find you... I don't know, there are no half-decent tiles for you to get anywhere? No, it's all, um, Siberia. Not Siberia. Yeah, Siberia. User joined your channel. Hey, man. Hey, man. Yo, yo. Hey, buddy. What's hey, good, What's good, What's good, Oh, to accept all these Buddhists, I shouldn't really be. I'm just gonna develop these tiles, fuck it, without converting them. Do you guys point? Playing as Orientals this game. So I'm like the horse lords of like Mongolia, and uh, Mac is in Japan. We're just like on the peripheries of like this giant like Ming. So we've been like watching him for the past two centuries. Hoping he would collapse, but he's just refusing to. Give me the money!
that's kind of cool actually all the like the actual local peoples are uh, colonizing indonesia now Where did they get um colonists yeah like keda and some of the small like yeah, uh, not... spice islands yeah they get caught their own colonists i guess mm. but... So just like 800, what's it called? Um, like eight, age points, I get Manchu banners, which gives me 50% more from like my special like extra discipline guys I can make. Yeah. So I think once I get that, then we should try to go for war with Ming. Okay. I'm trying to increase my standing army as well, so I'm up to almost 100.
Korea is actually a bit shit in terms of the land there. It's got a couple of like, big cities, which are good. Yeah, develop, like develop not that outrageous, but it's out. like it's only I've got one cot and it's like all mountains and shit. Like it's okay, but I'm not like woof. Trade goods are really nice though. Well, some That's shit, true. but it's got a lot of. It's got more China wear than Japan has. It's got cotton. It's got tea. It's got fur. It's nice and defensible, so it's got the terrain. So all of northern Korea is mountains and Most hills. of it is mountains or hills, basically. So actually, what we should do, now that I think about it, is fight you Korea. Said that, um, conquer Korea and then build forts in the mountains there. Hmm. And that's where we can do our fighting. And then we'll get the defensive, like, um, like modifiers yeah. to the walls. So every time they go to siege, we just strike at the yeah. armies. Yeah. So like Gung, Gung Yi. Be a great place for a fort, definitely. I User have, left your channel. I have a couple mountains on the border up there as well. The issue is the rest of my country is just completely just open, shitty, like desert and steppe. Just open, open. Yeah. And he'll just move in and try to occupy everything. Do I have any hills anywhere? I don't think so. I think you in, um... Oh, this is all steppe too, huh? Yeah. Shit. All over the west is just shitty steppe. The east is also a step. Mountains, well, you, got, you have to so go all the way near to Korea. Well, on the border with Korea, you've got tons of mountains I as do, well. Yeah, that's true. That's not exactly going to help against fighting the Ming. Oh, you have wait, you have uh, another province you can develop, by the way. Which one is that? Hami. It's plus five percent, but that's not bad. It's dry land, so it's like a uh, uh, farmland, but then a. Uh, so if you go west to like the western edge of Ming. Okay. So if you go to Yarkland and then two right. provinces, right? You could develop the shit out of that, uh, to be honest. Well, it's arid though. Yeah, it's, but that's so plus five. it's actually 20. No, it's 20. What? Uh, it yeah. looks like plus five to me. Okay, never mind then. Sorry. Sorry. Uh, I was excited for you. <laughs> Where's Katapeng? I was excited, excited for a minute too. Trust me. All that false hope. All right, I really need to do something about Poseidon now. And that's who we are. No, not and that's who we Just Poseidon. Whew, the Ottomans are coming around with like 36 fucking stacks of ships. I'm like, okay. No, serious, I guess. Oh, Ming has made 100 trusts. That's pretty cool. I kind of want another mill group, but I'm going to have a shit ton of excess admin points, so... <laughs> you can give them to me, that's cool. <laughs> probably drink another admin group. Ah, uh, there's no system in the game for that to happen. <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice, appreciate though? The, the offer, though. Oh shit, my eighth uh, group idea is... Um, plus 20 global, or global settler increase. 
So that's pretty cool. So that'll help me too. Rise of urban culture. Fine, let's do it. Cool. Borneo is not mine. That's exciting. All right, boys, I'm going to quickly go have a cigarette. I'll be back as well.